welcome to the English Literature and Creative Writing Department at Lancaster University. In these episodes, you'll get to know our students and their experiences studying at our department. Hi, I am Angus. I am from the southeast and um, I'm sandwiched currently between my second and third years on the English Literature, Creative Writing and Practice course. And over lockdown, I've been teaching myself how to use Photoshop. Learning on the creative writing course is generally done in the workshops, although you have a few lectures per week depending on your modules, and the seminars are really where it kind of comes together, where you and about a dozen other students get together with a professor and you critique each other's work, and you can be as brutal or as nice as you like about it, and it's all about improving your craft and making what you write better. And so that's a really important learning experience for Anyone, no matter whether it's poetry, script, prose, it helps to have that kind of medium to um, learn through. My favourite module so far at Lancaster would probably be the Literature, Film and Media module that you take in second year. It goes for the whole year and you go across a broad range of texts that have either been adapted or stand on their own as just really cool bits of media so it's stuff like Hannibal, Apocalypse Now, Breaking Bad, The Silence of the Lambs to go back to Hannibal which was a really cool curriculum to have because it wasn't just book and then a different book every week and at the end it culminates in a creative project where you work on an aspect of adaptation with one of these texts in some way and people just go absolutely wild with what they want to do with that. I ended up making a video essay about Hannibal, which is one of my favourite TV shows of all time. I was really happy with how it turned out in the end. My favourite creative writing module would probably be short fiction for, again, year two, um, run by uh, Zoe Lambert, among others. It was very interesting to me as someone who'd primarily written short fiction up to that point to kind of get a broader sense of the genre and what makes it kind of tick and not be restricted by kind of conventional ideas of what a short story is. The story of how I ended up in Lancaster is a bit convenient. I had four choices down for my universities and I was really desperate for a fifth. And so I just went to my English teacher at the time and I just asked, Miss, you know, anywhere that does a good English course and just kind of said offhandedly, Yeah, Lancaster's pretty good. And so I ended up um, putting it down. And then when I came to see the university and all the teachers and the um, applicant days, yeah, it really sold me on the place. And I haven't regretted the choice since. Uni in general was always a bit of a 50-50 for me. I wasn't sure whether it was entirely up my alley, but I'm so glad I ended up coming. I chose Lancaster. It's a bit simple, but it's because I liked it the most out of the universities I looked at. I really liked the feel of the campus, the the um the college system really kind of spoke to me as a really good idea. I like the fact that there's a Greg's right in the center of the place, and um, yeah, it's it's just very simply it just kind of clicked with me. So um, I ended up in Cartmel College for my first year, which is right on the other end of campus from the English department. Literally, my building was as far away from the English department as you could physically be on campus. So that was fun, but it meant that. I kind of had a walking tour of the university every single day and you kind of see the collegiate system in action there because every single part kind of has its own idiosyncrasies and kind of character and bars to um, visit and go to and it really makes the campus feel both communal and united if that makes any sense at the same time. So either you'd be down in Cartmel with just your flatmates or up in Boland because he had a lecture and it's a really interesting system. It's quite a strange experience making the jump from secondary school education up into university because there's so much less kind of pressure and focus put on you to work. You kind of have to do that yourself and I found that quite difficult when I first came up here. The fact that I'd only have say 
one or two hours of work per day meant that I could easily just kind of go home, just cook dinner and then fall asleep again. <laughs> yeah, once you find the motivation to work and find a method that suits you in terms of managing all that you've got to do in your spare time, I think just university starts to get a lot easier. But those first kind of few days, weeks, months, however long it takes you, it can be a real um, kind of disjointed sense in terms of what you're used to. My favourite part about um, coming to Lancaster would probably be um, the student media societies. So there's the student newspaper Scan, which I've written a bunch for, Bayorag FM, the radio and podcast station that I've done a few shows on, and LA1 TV, who um, produce a bunch of live streamed and TV content. And so that's always really fun, is um, to kind of wander into their respective headquarters, and there'll be people just kind of working on really cool stuff while you're there. Someone will be about to go on air in the studio or um, recording a podcast or just having fun and essentially becoming student journalists, which is really cool to see. I've, I've written about, I'd say, a dozen articles for Scan now over the past two years. They're mostly kind of focused on screen and film, but I did a few music ones. They give you uh, special press passes to certain gigs. so You have the opportunity to interview and meet artists and performers just in Manchester in the general area. So I got to see Lewis Capaldi essentially for free, which was a really good moment since he's one of my favourite current artists. It's a really good society to join if you're even just as a writer who doesn't want to do features. It's still a good way to learn editorial skills and just get a bit of your work published. Again, through doing student media stuff, I'd quite like to get a job like that in journalism or broadcast media, but also elements of marketing or um, publishing also appeal to me. There is a careers office that all Lancaster students have access to, where they essentially try and find you placements and help you work with your CV. So even if it's not at the front of my mind right now, I know I've got support for that when it eventually comes around. currently working towards possibly doing English literature, I think it's a really good opportunity to kind of take because the skills that you get from that course and from the study that you do here can be applicable in so many different forms of life. Basically, any business that needs you to write down words will probably need someone with an English degree. So it's good to have that. I picked English literature and language at A-level because it was one course throughout my entire kind of school life that I've really enjoyed doing. I always liked reading books and I always liked the kind of critical aspect of it. It was just kind of a logical step for me to then progress into English at university. Can't really imagine myself doing anything else, if that makes any sense. I think the course has given me a lot of confidence, not just in my ability to critique, but also in terms of opening up a lot more perspectives on the world and informing me of them because the course isn't just the same old books and the literary canon it's about challenging those beliefs and being open to new ideas and I think that's really important. I'd recommend the English department at Lancaster because it sounds cheesy but they genuinely care about every individual student there will always be someone who is there to listen, to go into their office hours and just ask them about parts of the course or like stress of the course or anything at all really. And there's always someone who will listen and someone to talk to. about the department, please check out our website at www.lancaster.ac.uk. Look there for the Department of English, Literature and Creative Writing. You can also follow us on social media. We would love to hear from you.